So let's say we add a new instruction to MIPS, and it's going to be branch not equal immediate. So it's going to take a register, constant, and an address. And what it's going to do is branch the address if the register does not equal the constant. Now, say we allocate 11 bits for the constant here, how far can the branch jump? Well, the answer is going to be plus 511 or minus 512 instructions. And if you look at this, this is going to be a twos complement. Remember, the offset for branches is a twos complement value. So twos complement values always go to a larger negative number than a positive number. And let's see how we came up with this. Well, here are the instructions that we have here. They have different formats. And what we're doing is we have 16 bits of immediate, and we're adding on five more bits here because we only have one register in this format. So in total here, we're going to have the sum of these put together, 21 bits to work with. So we have 5 plus 16, that's 21 bits total for the constant and address. And we took 11 bits for the constant, so we have 10 bits left over for the address. So a 2's complement 10-bit number can go from minus 512 to plus 511. So that allows us to minus 512 to plus 511 instructions. Now let's take a look at loading constants. So we want to make an instruction that makes it easier to load a constant. So we're going to have LBC, load big constants, take a register and an immediate. And the question is here, if we defined a new instruction like this, which had a large immediate, how much would this speed up loading a single 32-bit immediate? Well, the answer is it's not going to change things at all. Because if you look at what happens here, we're going to take this part of the immediate field, and we're going to add in this, so we're going to get more bits of the immediate, we're going to get 21 bits of immediate, but that's not quite enough. So we get to load 21 bits in this instruction. We still need two instructions to load a full 32-bit immediate, so that doesn't actually speed things up over what we had before, where we need two instructions to load two 16-bit immediates. Here's a question about what sort of adder do we need to put into the data path if we're going to do a jump instruction? Well, the answer here is none. And that's because a jump instruction, we just insert the bits to the PC. We don't need any special new type of addition. We're just replacing the bits that we would have had anyways with new bits from the jump instruction.